Right, let's find a new equation of a line where we have two coordinates given. The first coordinate is x is 0, y is minus 100. That will be here. 0, minus 100. Uh, and where we have x equals minus 2 and y equals 100. So we have our second point. Now we can draw the equation of the straight line. And if we're going to do it the really simple way then, okay, we just look at, we know that the formula is going to have the form y equals kx plus m. We know that it's sloping downwards like this, so we're coming down the mountain. We know that there's going to be a minus sign in front of the x value. We don't know how steep it is yet, but we know that there's going to be a minus sign there. And we know it, the intercept, we just look at where does the line cut the y-axis. It cuts the y-axis at minus 100. So we already know that m equals minus 100. Now we just have to decide how steep it is. How long does it go along the x-axis compared with how high it goes in the y-axis? Okay? Up here we have the point 100 in the y-axis. And down here we have the point minus 100 in the y-axis. So if we were just looking at the y-coordinate here, the y-coordinate here is 100 and the y-coordinate here is minus 100. So what's the difference between 100 minus minus 100? We've got 200 in difference in the y-axis. Okay? Then how much difference do we have in the x-axis? Well, we've gone from 0 to minus 2. So we have two difference in the x-axis. We've gone from 0 to minus 2. So what will the gradient of this be? Well, rise, which is 200, over run, how many we had in the x-axis, over 2. So we get that 200 divided by 2 is 100. So we get that the equation of this is just minus 100x minus 100. The equation of this line was negative because it's sloping downwards. Without using the rise over run, we, went, we had a difference of 200 in the y-axis, and we had a difference of only 2 in the x-axis. So we get this uh, equation for this line quite easily just using that way, without having to use y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That's actually, you're doing the same thing here as you're doing there. You're taking the difference in the y-axis, y2 minus y1, m divided by the difference in the x-axis, x2 over x1. But sometimes it's easier just to put it on your sketch. And this is the equation of your line. So if I now said, what is the price of y if x equals 30? And you want to know what value of y you're going to get. Looks like this person has a debt of some sort because it's a negative number. Well, the debt that that person would have would be minus 100 times, we put in the value for x here, 30, minus 100. Use the Swedish. Okay? Hun, hun, minus 100 times 30 equals minus 3,000 minus 100 equals minus 3,100. This kid is borrowing lots of money from his parents. He's going in debt, okay? So he's owing them minus 3,100 kronos. Because I said that x plus Okay? So this was, this was a graph representing how much debt he was getting himself into or herself. Equations of lines.